we'll talk about that because I I got a lot of blowback too for basically just being like, look, I didn't like the guy, but holy fuck, do do you all look like some real pieces of shit? And then people are like, didn't you make the joke about how um, uh, Corona killed 500 journalists and you retweeted it with that got to pump those numbers up thing? I said, it's a little fucking different when you're talking about uh, the nebulous journalist term and then talking about somebody like specifically who died they're not yeah they're not the same thing i'm just yeah i'm just awful um Hold on a second. I'm just going to tweet this out. We're going to talk about Gina Carano because it's a hot topic. Um, I do. Yes, I do. (laughs) I'm not asking her for feet pictures. Ah, I fucking knew it. Yeah, no. (laughs) <laughs> because uh, I know, but a, a friend would never ask a friend to ask somebody that question. All right. If she's single, I'll pass on the message. I don't know if she's dating anybody, but I'll fucking do it. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, hold on a second. They can't hear you. Why? It's my. It's on my end. It's a technical thing. Hold on. Audio. Let's do that. How about now? Say something. Testing. Testing. Yeah, there we go. One, there two, go. three. Yeah, that should work. Testing. All right, there we go. So, yeah, so they only heard me talking about vaguely about uh so just to bring the chat up uh to 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 speed dank has decided to put our friendship on the line and asked me to ask gina carano if she will crush his head between her thighs um i will delay that i will delay that or i will relay that if she's single okay (laughs) i'm looking forward to that conversation just you messaging her like hey are you single Oh uh, no, 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 I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask that either. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna ask that either. I mean I she knows right, I'm okay. married, Fair. so that would probably look a little scuzzy. Uh you know. Uh if I like, there's, there's a, there's a, I'm just saying if she's if she's got some links in Hollywood and everything, you know, there's there's a few other people that we could try, you know, like uh See, see that woman that plays the fucking administrator in a Umbrella Academy. Mm, oh yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Mm. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. I'll, I'll even. I'll even wear the school uniform. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think. Um, you know, the fictional Resident Evil character. It feels a little uncomfortable because I do. T- I do talk to her a fair bit. So, um, you know, I. She's a fucking beautiful woman, though. I can tell you that much. She's everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I th- what I thought was funny? Let me show you this picture. I, I know you're going to love. Um, you know, she's everything that these feminists would want. She's like, uh, how do I say? Strong, it? independent woman. <laughs> well, not she's not even. Yeah, yes. But also, like, she's also, um, like, a little thicker you know what i mean like she's a sexy like i know uh, exactly what you mean yeah yeah i mean but like you know what i'm saying like that should be uh she should be like the fucking poster girl um for them and sh- and just because she has the wrong ideas 
that's enough. They throw away all yeah. the rest of it. It's it's just like, it's just like some of the some of the things that I just laugh at is just about like oh yes, women should be empowered, and then it goes to and then they're like wait not that woman. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, and then it, whoa. It, it, yeah, that's that's why that's why that's why I put out that tweet basically saying like if if apparently you can get fired for making silly comparisons to like Nazi Germany and the Holocaust, well then that's that's bye bye eighty percent of journalists. Yeah, like yeah, they're, I mean, right. they're they're gone. They're fucked. Signed yeah. all these. I always thought the the hypocrisy was so fucking crazy to me that it was like. Oh my gosh, look, and I think really nobody should make comparisons to the fucking Holocaust. Um, maybe you could make the argument for like the Uyghur Muslim thing right now in China. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, like, you can compare one Holocaust to another, but like, that's it. Uh, the And so I don't think that that was smart of her. But also, I, I didn't think for one fucking second, not one millisecond, that these people were actually offended about the Holocaust thing. They just, they were tripping over each other to stand, to stand on d- 6 million dead Jews to cancel a woman. That's what it was. Yeah. They were like, Oh yeah. my God. Uh, I can't believe she, she equated something to the Holocaust signed the same retards who've called people Nazis and Hitler and all this shit for the past eight years. Trump is literally a fascist. Literally. He's literally a fascist. And what man, like, yeah, fascists don't tend to be able to be criticized by like eighty percent of the country, ninety-nine percent of the media. <laughs> like yeah, he don't yeah. he doesn't allow himself to like be impeached. Or be or be, vo- <laughs> like, or be voted out, yeah. you know. Like that's... Or get vo- or get voted out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want you to check your DMs. I just sent you something, a little fuel. Uh, for your mind it's a publicly available picture but i just i mean i think that uh it's uh it's very nice okay Um, so a couple of topics today um i'm assuming bearing's just running late or he has another weird growth on his head i fixed the i think we're good on the audio levels boys um so i decided we would just we would just start. Um, did you did you look yet, Dank? Look at what? Did you send me something? I I literally just said check your DMs. All oh, right, and you me. responded to right, me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm smoking these really nice cigarettes. It. Yeah, jazz cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. Some of the uh, oh, Jesus, it's uh, the size of my fucking head. <laughs> I mean, right? I mean, come on. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Um wait, I'll actually, I can share it with chat. It's it's like publicly available. I don't really know. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's on hot Instagram, so yeah. who gives a shit? It's fine, like, yeah. It's not even saucy. That's how hot she is. Like there's no... <laughs> you, you're just not under you're just not understanding the nuance and context. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, the oh wait, hold on a second. Why didn't that? That shouldn't be it. Hold on a sec. Well, maybe it is. Hold on. It's weird. Instagram's so weird with the fucking like you can't navigate to links reasonably. Here, that should work. Um. So I, I thought today was an interesting day. Uh, Rush Limbaugh died, and uh, a ton of people that I guarantee never listened to him or really have any ideas, you know, uh, what his opinions were, were celebrating his death. I, and I thought, boy, for the party of healing and togetherness, what a. And every one of them. I mean, it was it was so crazy. I, I was doing a video like in real time. I just pulled up like twenty tweets. I didn't set it up this way, but I was like reading all these people who were like, "Ha, good. I hope he fucking suffered." Like all this shit. 
And like almost all of them had Democrat in their uh, or like hashtag resist or like LGBTQ or whatever, like rainbow flags, every one of them. And it's like, man, you people are so fucking vile. Yeah. Like th- this is the thing is people were like, oh, people people said like similar stuff when like uh, R- R- RBG died, yeah, and all that. And I was like, well, give me examples, and like people were saying to me like jokes, and I'm like, yeah, that's jokes. Like show show me the stuff of people saying like I'm happy she's dead. Like post t- like tell tell me that stuff. And if, and they couldn't find any. And it's basically these people think that jokes and genuine and you know obviously this is the problem that we've noticed for a very long time especially with my own comedy mm. they think that jokes themselves are factual statements and they yeah and they believe that if you joke about something it means that you're genuinely happy with it which you know a joke about a terrible thing it means you're also happy about that terrible thing happen happening which means whenever you see them joking about a terrible thing they're like oh it's just jokes you're like yeah but i know that you're genuinely happy about it because that's what you project onto other people yeah right it's it's your entire feed is full like you're literally masturbating to the thought of his corpse um and like i i i was telling you before we went live that it was because i called it out because i think it i think it is fucked like look I mean, he was 70 years old. He died of cancer. I'm sorry. What are you happy about exactly? You know, and the idea that if you thought he had terrible ideas, well, now he has no chance to enlighten himself or make make amends for the things he said. He's just dead. Um, He's in the ground. You'll be in the ground one day. We'll all be in the ground one day. Like, what is the fucking point of celebrating it now? Okay, when, when there, there was one thing I heard about him, and this is a point that everybody makes, but this this is something that I I didn't know about, right? Oh, was it um, the AIDS apparently, thing? yeah, yeah. The, 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 the ahead, guy, did, I know. Did, did he really do that? Yeah, I mean, holy uh, shit, man! He was Jesus a piece of shit, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's that fucked. <laughs> yeah, there's that, <laughs> and then there know. was like. You know, the guy didn't have a lot of kind words. I think when Jerry Garcia died, he said something like, ah, oh, it's just another dead doper or something like that. He had a lot of, like, fucking nuclear hot takes. But, like, okay, we two things, and this is another thing that a lot of these people, I hate saying the left because in my mind, I refuse to believe it's everyone on the left. I don't want to be that guy. I'm just, like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not. Yeah. Degenerate leftists. I would say like they are incapable of of holding two ideas uh like as mutually ex- mutually exclusive. Like yeah. yes, he can have said some terrible things and you can also be a piece of shit for like celebrating his death. Like that dude had grandkids that fucking loved him that got to see that shit on Twitter like what good? I mean, like, oh, sick! You got a bunch of retweets from a, a bunch of other fucking disgusting uh, communists. You know, like, yeah, it's so to actually to actually celebrate like a death, like the the person like has to have done some shit, yeah, right? Like, see for Osama example, bin Laden, see for fine. example, uh, Joseph <laughs> Joseph Fritzl, if he yeah. died, then it's like, oh, fantastic, smashing, like that's great, you know, like that Ramzan Kadyrov. If yep. he died, then oh yeah, fucking brilliant and that man. Like, because those are people that did like actions. They actually did Kim some Jong-un, horrific, hellish stuff. Yeah, yeah. But but whereas if it's like someone who or he's like said a bunch of mean stuff, then it's kind of like yeah, you know, it's not really. Yeah, here's somebody. It's, it's not, yeah, here's somebody whose opinions I disagreed with. Um, I'm glad they're dead. Like that. That's their position. And I was just like. Yeah. Man, I had a, I had like um, a bit of a, I don't know, like, I won't say, I'll just say like, I just kind of had to get away from my computer for a minute because I was really losing faith in humanity. And like, who are, like, seriously, like, ah, oh, fucking dab on his grave, goddamn cuck servative. <laughs> like, man. You know, if, if you don't have anything nice to say about the guy, like, you know, today's the day he died, maybe just keep keep it to yourself. Like, you know, they, let's take all of his opinions out of, out of it. Rush Limbaugh single-handedly uh, uh, formed the way that 
people like you and I even create content. He, he, he was instrumental in basically, he's like the original alt tech guy when he had like, you know, you, he got off all of the major networks. Like he, he, you know, he's a guy that paved the way for guys like Ben Shapiro or Steven Crowder, or, you know, he's like the single largest like political talk show. He had 20 million listeners on fucking terrestrial radio, 20 million. Um, you know, like, okay. If you didn't like what he had to say or you disagree with it, fine. But I mean, it doesn't erase that. It doesn't erase all the things that he did to move the genre forward. That's fucking. Actually, obviously, there was a lot of progress and stuff like that he made because I realized that because he was, especially back in like his heyday, he he was like the spicy boy. Yeah, he, he yeah, was yeah. the spicy boy back then, and because of that, like a lot of. A lot of conservatives like enjoyed him, but they would kind of like not publicly support him because it was kind of sort of in the way that it's like if you support Trump, if you say, "Oh, I actually like Rush Limbaugh," people would go, "You really? You like that guy? Mm -hmm. You like him?" and all that shit. But like everybody like listened to him and stuff like that. And like, yeah, he kind of like see see all the stuff that we we've went through at some point that some of us are still going through. He dealt with a lot of that during his career. You know, yeah. the, the shunnings and attempted deplatformings and like all, all this other stuff as well. Yeah, I mean, I think I never like his, I don't know. You know, he always felt like this old boomer Republican that like my uncle would listen to. It, it was never yeah. really like content like that I was super interested in. But, you know, he has, I'm not going to defend some of the fucked up shit he said. Uh, making he said he basically said that Michael J. Fox was hamming it up for his fucking ad on Parkinson's. Like Jesus Christ, dude! Even if that was true, like just don't say it. You just don't have to. Everyone loves Michael J. Fox, and like Parkinson's is one of the worst fucking degenerative diseases that a person can get. And like, even if he was hamming it up for his literal ad about Parkinson's, like maybe just don't make that point. Like there are plenty of things that Rush said that I was like, ugh. Come on, man. But like there are also things that um, he said that work 100 percent correct. Like uh, feminism was designed f uh, to make it easier for ugly women to be in mainstream society or something like that. I was like, <laughs> the, <laughs> I was like, where's the fucking where's the lie? You know, it was so, it was one of those spicy <laughs> quotes, you know? They, I forget what was the somebody in chat's gonna know that the exact quote was fucking unbelievable. Um, hold on, I want to look it up because it was so good. And then there was like this woman that was um saying like whining about it, and then her immediate reply, oh yeah, uh, yeah, Jessica Valenti quote: "Feminism was established so as to allow unattractive women easier access to the mainstream society." Rush Limbaugh. And she posted that as like an own, but everyone was like, you know, <laughs> yeah. So then she immediately follows up <laughs> without, without men, uh, without fail, the men retweeting the where's the lie resemble gangrenous thumbs. And then she posted that somebody, oh, I should just, I'm going to show you this thread. And then, and then she took somebody posting an empty carton of eggs to her and she got super, super fucking offended. <laughs> 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 It's like, this thread is one I of the love, best self owns. Like, I I love the fucking the empty empty egg carton. Like fucking yeah, it's great. <laughs> funny. Yeah. It was the fact that it's like fucking like I remember when it first came around and all these female journalists were fucking freaking out. <laughs> going like, shit about going it, like yeah. what does it mean? It's clearly like an alt right dog whistle. <laughs> That's what it must be. Like the, someone with an anime avatar is like yeah. <laughs> what, what's the guy's Twitter name? Chinese country star Wayland Chennings, <laughs> San Paki <laughs> Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Empty egg carton. No eggs. What's, what's, what's sort of incredible about anti-feminism is that it never really progressed past you're ugly and barren. They've been saying the same tired shit for decades. All they can say now is, and so please, please tell me she says it at some point in this fucking thread. <laughs> well, I she... guarantee you, like, hold on, I need to find in, so it's got to be in there somewhere. <laughs> I love it, yeah. And you know what's funny to me? 
This is how unself-aware yeah, these people are. Sorry, continue. Yeah. <laughs> she, she she whines about personal insults right after her own tweet, calling the men saying, "Where's the lie, ugly?" That's how fucking like I see this shit, and I want to like pull what's left of my hair out. Like, what the fuck? How? I mean, you literally just called men, all these men ugly, and then you whine about them saying, fe- you know that. Uh, you know, feminists are ugly. Like you can't have it both ways. Get, you're either in the mud or you're not. Yeah, it's just and that's that's the thing is that if you do something, you have to expect people to do it back. Like that's why whenever like I get trolled and people make fun of me, like I have fucking fun with it. Ninety percent of it comes from like my own followers, and I, I join in on it. And sometimes I'll encourage it. Like if someone makes like a porn drawing of me. I'll like retweet it and go, this is terrible. Who would right, do such right, a thing? You know, I'm like type of thing, but like I'm encouraging it because it's fucking funny because my, my audience actually know how to fucking make jokes and are actually funny and good at roasts. Right. So, and because I do roast. that, like, I, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, like I, I expect it back. So see if I go online and say, Hey everyone, you're all fucking retards. Right. Imagine if I went on and done a tweet that said that and someone went, you're the retard, and then I re- replied like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe, I can't believe you would do that. Like, yeah. it's fucking, the absolute cheek oh, of it. The absolute, the absolute cheek of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me, I'll be read a couple of these. Matthew Hammond for three. Rush had Elton John perform at his wedding. He mellowed with age and admitted his early radio mistakes. His TV show in the mid-90s that lasted a couple years was fantastic. I mean, I, I mean, I can't confirm or deny that, but, I mean, I would assume that, you know, that's true. Uh, well, that's, that's good. That's good. That's an excellent yeah. thing. Uh, Chunk celebrated his death. Tim Pool called Chunk out for it. I mean, who's – I mean, are you shocked? Dude, how far have the Young Turks fallen? Like, nobody gives a fuck about them anymore. They used the last oh, yeah. bit of clout. He used the last bit of clout that they had to to try and run for political office, in which he finished dead last. I think, like even their Jesus, even their yeah. videos don't their videos alone. I'm just gonna look. They're another one of those channels, another dead channels with like fucking five million subscribers. Yep, literally five point one one million so subscribers, and they average. Forty to sixty thousand views, five million subscribers, fifty million views per video. Fifty thousand, I mean. See, my second channel does better than that, and yeah. I, I only upload to that. And I feel like it. See, see how you're like. What stories do you want me to discuss today, guys? Because I will upload my my five videos yeah. for that hour and a half of work that you do every day. <laughs> Come on, man! A hard work. You want to compare analytics? Nah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Right. Yeah, I, I work hard, though. You work smarter. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll take <laughs> but, that. Yeah. But like, I, I, only, I only upload to like my my second channel. Like, if I if I see a news story and it's when someone tweets it at me, I don't look for them. Someone will tweet something at yeah. me, and I'll be like, yeah, that's worth a video, and all that. But like, like my second channel literally does better than that. Do you not have you? Do you ever go up to go like go to find like old channels to like see what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like I, I do it. Like but, but thinking someone like major, just someone like massive. Like remember who was the? Oh, what was his name? Was his name Jinx? He was the reaction channel. Oh yeah, I, yeah. Like he, like I, I I remember him, and I remember he had millions of subscribers, and he was pulling in absolutely stupid amounts of views. And then I went on and looked at his channel, and I was just like, ah, "Jesus!" Like I think one video had like ten thousand views. Yeah, and all that. I look, I look up 6... channels like that all the time. There's been quite a few. He, he. Okay, if you look at Jinx, right? Five yeah. years ago, he was doing "Try Not to Laugh" challenge, six million views. A video he uploaded yesterday. Take a guess. I would say like maybe twenty three thousand views. One thousand eight hundred views. Oh my fucking god! Why would man. you even show up for work anymore? I mean, seriously. Yeah. Start a new oh, channel okay. and fucking Ow. you know, like if I was getting if if I get down below like five percent, you know, return on like you know subscriber to view thing, I just fucking nuke yeah. my channel. 
and say, okay, upload a video and say, all right, if you like me, I'm fucking moving. Fuck this dead channel. Gone. Like, there's just, there's, he's just an, like, imagine he's still doing fucking reaction videos. Here, here's one from three days ago. 800 views. 800. Fucking hell, man. Um, yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just like, like the one thing that I've noticed as well, by the way, is see, see when your channel like gets like that, make a video saying that you're starting a new channel because yep. basically, apparently, the YouTube algorithm knows when a channel's dead, it knows when a channel's dead, and it will just stop recommending it out. Well, it will yeah, just stop like, yeah. apparently, apparently right. the people that only get, yeah, apparently, the only people that get notifications anymore. Um, is people that basically don't subscribe to that many other people. Yeah, or brand new so subs. Yeah, yeah, which won't be. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, the yeah, um, exactly. That's, that's absolutely true. Um, I mean, look, I've done, I've done that. I've gone back to a channel that had, like, there was one time I think when I was doing like something. I think when I was fundraising for exclusively games, I posted a video on like Clawstruck, which had a couple hundred thousand subscribers. It got like five hundred views. Because I hadn't uploaded in like two years, uh, and same thing with Unsleeved Media. Like I, I'll I'll even upload a Magic the Gathering related video there and get like no views. It's just dead. So the best thing, like you said, would be because what happens is YouTube looks at your like subscriber to view ratio and your interaction ratio, and then if it's bad, you're just fucked forever. And it's like a, a self fulfilling yeah. prophecy. The um here's yeah, a fun that's one. Why it's always always smart to like jump ship and make a new fucking channel because what happens is when whenever a channel has a video that gets shit tons of views right away and it's brand new and it's subs and it's like wow this guy really knows what he's doing promote 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 yep and also you won't have all these because one thing that YouTube does is a uh, on it on each account there are notes on the account yes, of like it's like your you know like your per permanent record that you had in school of like all the shit that you did in the past. Yep. and all that like he got he got a strike here but it got lifted all of that's like still recorded you know or you've got your little rating about how you're controversial or maybe like a news article that got done on you basically it's the whole are is this person a possible threat to youtube sort of thing but whereas if you've got a fresh channel like you don't need to worry about that i can give i can give you an example right uh, my main channel has so many fucking problems with it right uh, my notifications don't go out to everyone and i get subscribers deleted off my channel like all the fucking time and uh, basically like sub growth slumps like right now compared to last year I was rocketing at this time last year but this year like I've, I've been in a slump since about like August yeah me too and all that go, like, I went a whole month once, without gaining any new subscribers and I was gaining fucking a thousand a day for like six months straight it was fucking I, I don't I, know what happened one thing that stopped it though is like every night YouTube would delete about 50 to 150 subs from my channel and I managed to get a huge list of evidence and everyone I sent it off to YouTube, right? And of, of course they, they didn't give a shit. Um, so I basically put out a tweet saying, hey everyone, please make sure you're still subscribed to my main channel. And everyone was like, what the fuck? I was unsubscribed. And when all of these people started resubscribing, YouTube were still deleting subs from my account at three o'clock, like at three o'clock in the morning every night without fail. But instead of it being like 50 to like 150, it ended up only being about like 20 or 30. Yeah. So when I got a bunch of these unsubbed people to resub, it stopped it for a while, but it looks like it's actually starting again. It's actually starting to like happen again, which is which is quite fucking annoying. But uh, one thing as well is uh, because of all the notes and fucking things that I've got in my account, like whenever I want a video monetized, I need to manually send that video in to create or support to get them to manually monetize it. Because see your little like submit for review and view feedback buttons, I don't have them. I don't have them in my channel. Well you know I don't have them at all. And it's what's crazy or what's what's frightening is that like that would kill my channel. Like I couldn't, yeah, yeah, I couldn't cover news yeah. because it would be fucking late. Every, you know, it takes days for them to review that. Here's a fun one: Ray William Johnson, 10 million subscribers. Oh okay. God, Ray William Johnson. Oh. He's still uploading actively. A video he uploaded last week. Take a guess. He, he uh, I would guess maybe like eight thousand views. Yeah, Twenty thousand, but that's embarrassing. Just like you said, fucking. 
do something insane to get your subscribers like attention and just start a new channel. Like there's just no yeah. point. There's no point. The um no, it's like, well, well, that's the thing. I see all the problems I've got on the main channel. Remember when I started my second channel? Like my main channel, even for my like silver play button, I had to fight for it, right? And I decided like here I've got a second channel where I was just going to be like off the cuff, uh, really lazy like videos, you know, like Jeremy does. And but that's but that's but that's the thing is I hit 100k really quickly i get i actually get very good metrics on my second channel for the amount of subscribers it has right i get i get really good views on it and also an amazing thing that i i don't experience anywhere else on youtube whenever i upload a video on it it's a, it's actually just got the little green icon right away like as soon as i upload yeah, as soon as funny? i click upload video YouTube are like, oh, that's smashing. Yeah, you could you can upload this right now if you want, and it'll be monetized. And I'm like, wow. So this is what it's like to have a normal fucking yeah. YouTube chat. <laughs> a salty <laughs> McBoat face and chat. So Dink has 179 uploads on his main versus Jeremy's 2,945. That's 345 subs per video for Jeremy and 4,500 subs per video for Dink. Get wrecked, two dads. <laughs> <laughs> the um well the, but i just seen someone saying in the chat yeah the, the the reason that ray william johnson got absolutely screwed is because he got really big on youtube and thought i, I think obviously when you're on youtube like you, you meet a lot about a bunch of people right for ray william johnson like i think he lived in la and stuff like that he obviously he super, met a lot of people yeah. in, the mo- in the movie business yeah and he basically made a video where he's like i'm done i'm moving on from youtube i'm going to go and make it in hollywood that's correct and he starred in like i think he starred in like a couple of like little minor things and then i'm not sure what happened but hollywood just kind of went nah yeah nah. I but, mean, but, had... but because but because he announced he was leaving like everyone sort of like mentally checked out from equals three and like that that was it he was over and he tried to come back but like nobody was interested anymore no one hung around yeah, I mean that's I mean like he's probably still making a couple grand a month, but like the yeah. the the thing is um even if you look at like Sargon's channel, like his main channel is very clearly, you know, bl- blacklisted. Like um, he has more oh, yeah. than a million subs and he'll get like fucking no views. But then he starts a new channel and he was getting I remember when he was doing uh uh like commentary style videos it wasn't uncommon for him to put out two or three videos that would all get like 200 to 300k every fucking day oh, yeah. it's so his, frustrating. his original one was the thinkery yeah was the th- the, he was... had another one before the thinkery but i think that one actually got a uh, deleted because of destiny yeah that was a new <laughs> new, new yeah. memeology or something like that new news memeology or something along those lines yeah yeah, that that one got taken down, but then he but then he made his new one, which did really really well. But then he got completely removed from a uh, he got his ads taken away. He got removed from the partner program. YouTube wouldn't give a reason why. So then he started the Lotus Eaters thing, and basically he's just he's doing the smart thing. Like his Lotus Lotus Eaters thing is actually doing quite well. Yeah, yeah, because he's try, he's he's trying to like t- totally decentralize his stuff from YouTube. He's wanting him basically to be 100% in charge of Lotus Eaters. Even his income, he's opened up a... It's like a Patreon alternative, but like just just for him. It's just his own like service. Mm-hmm. And basically he gets he gets like Patreon like through that. And obviously the man's not going to de-platform himself. So I think it's a really smart idea. And he just uses all other social media as a, as a way to just promote the Lotus Eaters, which is a fucking, which is a good job. Was a good, really good idea. At first, I was kind of even on here. We were kind of like, "Oh God, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, will yeah. it work out?" But he, he actually, he actually seems to have done pretty well. Yeah, I think. Um, well, he fucking uh, he uh, messaged me, and I, uh, he's like, "Um, Jer- Jeremy, um, um, would 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 it be possible for me to purchase an ad on your channel?" I'm like, "What? Like, no, no, I'm not charging you fucking money." To, to, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, man? We're friends. I said, here's what I'm going to do. You're going to come on my channel. We're going to live stream, and I'm going to make $2,000 in super chats and not give you any money. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> like, that's what uh, that's what we did to promote his, you know, Lotus Eaters thing. And and honestly, if you, it's, I mean, the model is the same as Crowder, the same as a Daily Wire. Um, 
at Tim Pool's doing it. I've started. I have this little like indiemedia.io that I've been doing some slow development to. In fact, I've had an editor like transcribing and uploading my videos there for like three months now, but I don't talk about it until it, I won't talk about it until it's like actually has features. <laughs> but that's what yeah. I mean. That's what we'll all have to do. And and the and the thing is, if you apply the eighty twenty rule, like I know people love when YouTubers talk about money. It's one of their favorite topics. But the um. <laughs> you make 80% of your revenue from 20% of your viewers. Like, you know, this is just the reality of it. Some people aren't in a position to like do super chats or to back and that's fine, but that's, this is just the reality. So what they do is they just say, okay, well the 20% of my backers that are willing to pay seven or $8 a month, if I have, you know, let's say an active audience of 200,000 people, um, you know, that's, what 4,000 people all paying seven, eight bucks a month. Just call it 10 for easy math. Okay. 40 grand a month. That's just fine. You know what I mean? Like if you just focus on that, just, just, just fine. <laughs> that's, that, that's amazing is what that is. Well, yeah, but well, I mean, like I'm saying if, you know, for him, he's got overhead and he's got staff and stuff like that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. he's, yeah, he's got a whole squad of people working for him. Yeah. And, and uh, who says that in chat? Um, I actually 100% agree with this. I fucking missed it. I do agree that um, somebody in chat said, like, this has got to be centralized. Uh, eventually, you know, that's the thing. You know, that's the rub because, like, okay, look, Tim and I share. There's probably an 80% crossover between, like, us. Let's, let's say us three, you, me, and Tim. There, You know, we yeah. share. A, so, like, are they going to pay – each of us individually seven bucks a month. Most people can't afford that. Um, and it's yeah, like, yeah. it's like me, I bitch about, Oh fuck. I, you know, I have, you know, I have Netflix and Hulu and Disney plus and this and this, and now I'm paying 200 bucks a month. Uh, I'm paying double what I was back when I had cable. So I do think that if I could get a guy like Ben Shapiro, who has the money and the connections in a room or like the blaze too. Yeah. look at the blaze. It's like, yeah, l the mug club is awesome, but like, I share a huge audience with Crowder. And so now I'm going to ask, you know, our audience members and I'm going to make them feel like shit. Cause I'm going to say like, you have to choose like, who do you want to give your money to? And if we were on the same platform, like the, like the blaze did badly, um, you know, it's, it's a little different. Well, that's, that's one thing I've always said. Like I said, I remember back when that, uh, that leftist girl was screaming on Twitch, five, dollars a yeah. month yeah. Right, like hardly i mean i made the video and i still stand by this is like when you are an online content creator and your stuff isn't behind a pay like you don't need to pay to access it right then you you are the busker in the street yeah you're the busker in the street someone can walk by and stand in front of you for five minutes and listen to your music and walk away and not give you anything because they're not obligated in any way to do so but some people do out of the kindness of their heart and to, to those people like well done thank you very much we appreciate it but that's why i'm happy doing sponsors and having yeah. ads on my video because if sponsors are paying me to advertise a product and i'm making all my money from adsense on youtube then that means that everybody gets to watch my shit and it doesn't cost them a fucking thing right right i mean like, that's, that's, the, that, that's that's the ideal, the ideal model yeah yeah right. That is ideal. And then until you get demonetized, you know, and then, yeah, you know, <laughs> when you have the amount of subscribers you do, you'll still be able to find sponsors and, and get by and even, th and even thrive. I mean, is there somebody that does more ad re have you ever listened to uh, a Ben Shapiro like show in like a 10 minute span? Yeah. He does like fucking 15 ad reads. It's almost unlistenable. He'll be like, uh, ah, welcome in. This is Ben Shapiro. You're listening to the Ben Shapiro Show. And uh, that's brought to you by uh, NordVPN. Everybody keep yourself on NordVPN. And then me, Undies. Yep, you know, get your Undies. And then, and then he'll say, like, another line. And then he's right into another sponsor, into another sponsor, into another sponsor. And I'm like, god damn, dude. Like, fuck, man. I can't even listen to your show. It's too yeah. many fucking sponsors. <laughs> I would do that. I would do one. I would do one one sponsor per video. Yeah. Well, that's what they ask for anyway with me. Yeah, but then I think whenever I do have a video, I think I do an ad every six or seven minutes, depending yeah. on the length of the video. I usually do one. Um, and to be honest, you know, both of our audiences like 
man, could you imagine if our audiences were like using all using the app, like, and you were getting like, I would say probably 10% of my views actually see ads. But then I think about like a content creator who creates family friendly content where it's like watched by families or kids and it's, uh, and they're getting ads a hundred percent of the time. And then you look at the money yeah. earned and you're like, Oh my God, somebody like Coco melon is probably making fucking $50 million a month in ad revenue. It's yeah, insane. The, the, the family, the family friendly stuff gets that gets them good ads. Yeah. Gets them really fucking good ads. Coca-Cola. You know, one, of, one, of the, one of the things that pisses me off by the way, and I, I think this should be an option, right? It's like, uh, apparently advertisers have the fucking, the power to choose, you know, we, we, oh, him, he's a, he's an edgy spicy boy. We don't want to advertise on his channel. Yeah. I think that we should be able to choose too what advertisers get to advertise I agree. on our channel. Yep. I agree. Yeah. Because for, for some reason, right, and the thing that I, I think this is fucking hilarious, my channel for some reason uh, shows SNP adverts, <laughs> adverts from the fucking Scottish government and all that, and then like fucking like when the election was going on, fucking Joe Biden, yeah, fucking ads and all that as well, and it's just like <laughs> you are you are preaching to the wrong fucking audience. <laughs> but it, part of me, I was getting nothing but Biden ads too, but part of me, I was like, okay. I'll take your money, bud. Like, come on, man. I'll take your money. It's not, you yeah. know. But I remember when um, that douche nozzle from GameSpot uh, wrote to Honda because he was uh, mad that I made fun of a female game journalist. And uh, he wrote to Honda and was like, mm, Honda, I notice your ads run on this misogynist video. Who's a well-known woman harasser? And then they, they dropped me. They told him they dropped me. And then, like, a week later, I saw Honda ads running on my own videos. And I'm like, man... Obviously, I'm profitable for you, but I want to block you because fuck you for like you know for shitting on me publicly, yeah. but still giving me money. But then again, I was like, you know, I'm not. Hey, you got a kid on the way. I got a family. I'd like to, you know, so I'm just gonna take what I can get for now and be happy. Let me read a couple of these. Oh yeah. Um, D for a hundred dollars. I choose you, Jeremy, over the Mug Club guy. I've been a member on your channel. For an age, love your work, Jesus. Thank you, uh, Michael. For we we we, we, got, we got another we got another guy, J Mac. J Mac, did you read that one? Yeah, fuck it, another hundred. Another fuck. Yeah, we're not splitting today's show with bearing J Mac for a fucking hundred dollars. <laughs> hey chuds, shame you hear about Rush, but man, does it really show? Or does really show how despicable people are? I couldn't stand Rush. Dad used to listen to him. That's how I felt too. But man, death sucks. People acting like he was Ted Bundy or Hitler. I wish people could take a step back and reevaluate. I, I agree 100%. There was also earlier spicy Australian boy, Clyde, for $50 reduce. Fellas, save me from the communist Melbourne. I can't take another lockdown. Dude, I got to read these, but I want to come back to that because I think they had, they locked down for like one case. Or they, they're sort of like a. Uh, yeah, they, uh it's like honestly like see see in the real world you know you know that game pandemic that's yeah, an yeah, explosion yeah. in sales and all of this first kicked off like it turns out that the irl madagascar is australia <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Like, yeah. A, a single a single man in, in sydney sneezed <laughs> oh sheila shut it down <laughs> shut down the whole fucking nation jesus uh michael yeah. michael lassett for five suddenly jeremy has turned into all my mba lecturers hey man well i have an mba powerhouse 420 mm -hmm. for a buck 50 thank you uh in 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 what the fuck infest tissue ma'am for 50 kroners have you seen the conversation between chad versity and sargon i have not have you uh, no, but I I play I, every every Thursday night. Me and me me and the boys yeah. <laughs> uh, get get together to play a uh, banner lord together, and that includes uh, me and Sargon and Shadowversity and uh, some other big name people that I'm not going to mention because uh, they'll get fucking cancelled. <laughs> <So, laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Don't tell everybody about your knitting group, um, Mister JD Fly High for five. Dink, have you seen the surfs video about your Seth Rogen beef? That guy's a broken record. Also, Dink, would you do a collab with Critical Drinker? I, I think I don't watch I don't watch surfs because he's a he's a yeah. spastic, putting it bluntly. And uh, Critical Drinker, I would absolutely absolutely do a 
do a collab with him. I actually watch a lot of his stuff. Yeah, he asked me about. I think we talked about. Actually, I should pass that on to you. I, he, him, and I talked about that last week when I was doing a collab with him. So I'll, I'll uh, pass that on to you after the show. A uh, deplor- deplorable pirate kept a gun beer for five. Those camps in Germany in the 1930s were just a different norm. Joe Biden. Oh my God. Yeah, Joe oh, Biden. Oh Jesus. That. Because I was sitting there going like, maybe okay, I'm not going to judge it on this one clip. Like, yeah. ov- obviously there is some key context that I'm missing here. I don't want to be like them. I don't want this to be <laughs> like Biden's version of very fine people. Yeah. Right. I went. I'm going to. I'm going to watch like the whole thing, and then I'm going to make my mind up. And then I watched <laughs> it, and I went, "Motherfucker, really did say that." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Perhaps the most charitable. <laughs> I think if. If I was gonna like give it the most charitable explanation, he might have, and, and he and he and he did not word it like this at all. But what would have made sense if he was saying, "Yeah, China's fucked up, but this shit is like ingrained in them." I mean, Mao. How many people did Mao kill? A hundred million? Some fucking huge number or whatever. Like, if 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 he wanted it like that, see if he says it's a cultural thing, and he goes, "I would say like it's obviously an absolutely terrible, horrendous thing," but. The reason it happens in China is because of their history. This is a norm to them. I would yeah. have been like, all right, okay, I, I accept that. Yeah. And them, but he was just like, it's just cultural differences. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, our, no our differences are our strengths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. fucking hell. What happened in yeah, Germany he's, was he's, just... He's uh... completely cooked, man. Xi Jinping has a video of him fucking a toddler. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> or a son, yeah, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, he's yeah. fucked. Bristol Berserker says, yo, bearing... Since he's a fan of you, why don't you invite Phil Anz- Anzelmo? An- Anselmo onto Tism? That would be awesome. I don't know who that is, but Barrick's not here. I'll pass that on to him, though. Daniel Smith for five. Do you see Biden defending the CCP in tournament camps? Yeah, we saw that. Jesus Christ. Um, Sour yeah. for five. We say the yellowest cur in the pack barks at the bone of a lion, meaning cowards who would never stand up to the man in life talk shit after death. Yeah. Right. It's it's hard to look at these people at like, you know, I look at them and they're like 16 year old bedroom feminists talking about how these fucking kids don't know anything about what um, Rush Rush ever talked about. Like he and but they'll just get in and, you know, for those sweet retweets. I believe that Twitter without going off on a tangent, it's my opinion that Twitter is a net negative for society and that it turns people it, it makes bad people fucking awful uh, and yeah. and, it, and it can turn good people into awful people too and um you just it it really you know i talked i talked about today in my videos like people need to spend way less time on twitter like you see you, you ever see these people say the vile shit right you click on them you look at their timeline and they have a tweet or a quote tweet every five minutes for the last 12 hours they're never not on twitter yeah uh chris for five dank who's your favorite what gallant oh who's your favorite galenti amar i can't pronounce any of these call dari it's it's, it's the (laughs) the factions in evo line oh okay um Favorite for a uh, backstory and stuff like that, and also for the perks that you initially get, but they disappear with skill training as a uh, Galente. But as far as ships are oh, Kaldari, uh, the Kaldari ships are the, are the just the best looking in the game. Chris for 15, less poor than usual, throwing a few coins in the hat to show my appreciation for all you guys. Even bearing with his five minute video with six minute virtual shield. And that's where he is. He probably didn't show up this week because, oh, wait, he said he wasn't going to be here. He fucking told us. He said he was. Really? I don't yeah. remember that. I don't pay attention to so much stuff. <laughs> I know you don't. We talked about it for like a big section of last show uh, because we were all oh, yeah, ripping on it for yeah. having to do all the virtual shit. By the way, um, Shout out, somebody actually did send me all of the audio from our shows in like a zip file. Um, I'm going to really? I'm gonna reply to that. I have it like flagged for reply. My Maggie, my assistant sent it to me and I fucking forgot about it. If you're out there listening, thank you and I'm going to send you some money. Uh, Kowlin, I'm not going to pronounce this wrong. I'm sorry. Um, for five from uh, Australia, don't know if you've been mentioned yet, 
All right, but did you guys see the entire Australian news media has been banned off Facebook? Yeah, we're going to talk about that next. Uh, yeah, yeah, for- I've, yeah I've, heard, I've heard some shit about that, but I, I don't know exactly what's actually going on. Yeah, I'll I'll give you the I'll give you the TLDR. Jesus Fried Christ for seven. Been following Tom McDonald since 2018. Check out his old stuff. Way off politically incorrect white boy. Um, yeah, he's. I mean, I. It's not my type of music, but like, um, I. I mean, I've talked to him a few times when you know in the DMs. Seems like a cool dude and uh, capitalizing off. So of- is this is, it, is this Tom McDonald Ram Ranch? No, no, this is Tom McDonald. Uh, I have tattoos on my face. I'm like a, 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 a center right um, uh, Post Malone. <clears throat> right. I don't know if I've heard he of has, him. He had like everyone was talking about that cancel culture song he dropped like uh, last week or cancel. No, not. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, was. yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. Good for him. Um. No. Yeah. Good show. Yeah, high look for two. Dig your guys' content. Let me kill him. Kill. Let me kill Meister. Mad lad went. Ooh, let me. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Uh, Dirt for five. I accidentally got a BJ by a trap a few hours ago. I can now confirm traps are amazing. Now, I've been saying. Now, hold on a second. Accidentally, I think we need to explore exactly how that happens. Um, but Hey, if you didn't find out till afterward, whatever, good for you. Blow load, man. Bust a nut. Good for you. Nah, even, even if you knew beforehand, it's still completely okay. Yeah. Who cares? In fact, in fact, I'm proud of you. I'm proud <laughs> of you. That's, that's... <laughs> Dr. Cheese for three. We got a full lockdown in Melbourne for eight cases. Yeah. That's so crazy. Apply 85 for 15. What are your thoughts on actual Jake and Hannah reloaded from the Bible reloaded? They're cut from the same cloth as the serfs, and I've done a lot of videos about you. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Uh, I don't have any time for watching fucking videos on me. Like, that's cringe. Um, but I will say with these guys, I've seen a few, and it's always the same, like, disingenuous, like, 2016 YouTube that everybody's moved on past except for BreadTube. Like, the rise of BreadTube... Yeah. And they're five years too late. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. This would be that's, great. That should, uh, when Trump, when Trump got voted in, you know that that was your chance. That that was when all this could have happened. Yeah. Like one, one, one of the things I noticed as well, and I've I've no under, I've no idea why this is, and it's the two, like sort of. Well, in fact, there's a few titans. There's like people like Kel Kalinsky, Contra, and there's fucking H uh, Bomber guy. Yeah. Right, and uh, basically they've they've obviously clearly been set to uh, be highly favored by the algorithm. Of course, yeah, and, uh, yeah, massively favored in the algorithm. Like that's 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 obviously what happens. But everybody else, like, gets absolute dog shit views. But like the fact is, like, Kalinsky and Contra and H uh, Bomber guy aren't really toxic. Like they've got some fucking dumb opinions, right? right. But they're not. Right, they're not like toxic, whereas the other bread tubers, they're they're all toxic beyond belief. Yeah, that's like, extremely that's... fucking toxic. Yeah, so they they don't get promoted by YouTube at all. That's uh, you know what's? I think that I a hundred percent agree with that. Like those three, like I have very little interest in watching a contrapoints video, although I might watch it occasionally. You know, if it's on a topic I want to see their opinion on, but like. Yeah, these this B tier of bread tube is doing the same bullshit that we all were in 2016, like reply videos to like bedroom feminists yeah. and shit like that. And they're and they're like, why isn't the algorithm? Oh, what's happening? It's not working. It's like, bro, you know YouTube. I try. I even said that in a video I made about that kid. I'm like, dude, you know you're gonna get banned. Like, I don't. I don't think you might think in your mind that like. I'm a I'm a good target, and you get to say terrible things about me. But YouTube does not want this YouTuber on YouTuber reply video shit. They want they they specifically came out and said that. Um, yeah, that's why, that's why they took away uh, the live sub count. Yep, as well because that became a huge part of it and all. And I uh, it was just basically like YouTube hate drama and they panic about it because it all starts with like a little bit like see see if IBS like came back. If all of that came back, like it, it died off, like on its own, <clears throat> before uh, YouTube could before like do you... anything. It's still, yeah. sm- 
it's still sort of around, but it's it's nothing like it was in its heyday. Right, see, I remember like IBS, 10, 000, like... 20, 000, 30, 000 people streams. IBS was honestly, and they, they and were making tens of thousands of streams. Yeah, but I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but they were the biggest fucking live streams on YouTube. Not, not, not in our space. Yeah. On YouTube, it was the biggest fucking thing they had. Yeah, it absolutely was. But but see if they tried to come back to to the way they were in their heyday, YouTube immediately would be like, nope, boom, channels banned, everything locked out. They would they would they would do to them what they did to Leafy. Yeah, well, Leafy I mean, they Leafy did. just sort of hinted, I'm thinking about making a comeback, and like YouTube just went like, that's what you think, that, and just deleted his fucking channel. Well, he he like, was fucking. You, I mean, he was baiting Pokimane and and f- for like fifteen videos in a row, and and he just, I mean, he should have known better. I don't, and and I don't, um, I think he does care that he was banned. I know he puts off this like I don't give yeah. a fuck shit bullshit. He cares. That's why he went to Twitch yeah, and he fucking cared. He blew it. Like he came back perfectly, and then he just, he just, you know, he didn't learn anything since he left. And t- what was that? T- 2016 2017 you know um youtube does not fucking roll like that shit anymore that's i mean it's it no. they don't um and like you said look what they did um there andy worski was having these fucking i mean why do you think the guy had a mental breakdown he had fucking everything he was making more money than all of us combined and then he likes fucking then you you look in and he's like screaming at a guy with a gun, telling him to back up or what the fuck he was yelling. Oh uh, yeah, like yeah. I like oh I see that's I mean that's what it'll do to you. And, G- and YouTube like fucking banned him and all those people were you know gone. But IBS was legit for three months or so. Um, Philip for two says Gina said that her ex boyfriend gave her a computer. Oh okay. He also says Dink I sent you a Twitter DM. Uh, John for two. Did you guys see Tom McDonald? Yep, we did. Matthew Hammond for nine. These people were terrible with their comments about Rush. Never trust them with your health care. You will ensure people die <laughs> if they have bad beliefs. You know, a year ago, I'd say that, ha, ha, ha. But now I'm like, man, you know. <laughs> uh, Rock and Room for five. We can't hear anyone. Oh, that's way back in the beginning. Greg C for five. Dinks Audio is jacked. I fixed that. Jesus fight Christ for three. Alex Jones was right. Well, he was right about the, um, about the fucking goblins. The vampire goblins. That uh, uh, wait, hold on a second. The literal vampire pot belly goblins. Yeah, you <laughs> hobbling around coming after us. My spirit gets close to that evil, and I feel it go ah ah <laughs> ah. We're such self centered crowd. I'll get you got me started now. I love it. Yeah, I, t- I put yeah. I tweeted out that line today. Like, where he's like, uh, yeah, we're. S- such self I got well, tell you what, tell you what, you, you all think you're so cool because you like that song. I had the man himself fucking sing it to me. I got serenaded <laughs> by Alex Jones <laughs> with, with that song. <laughs> all you had to do is let him denigrate you and make you do Shrek voices all weekend long. The uh... yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, I, that's the that's the thing. Is like I know I, he's going to do it like every time that I fucking go back. Yeah. And all that, and I think I think people have messaged him or like staff of his have went, yeah. D- Dankel is always bitching, bitching about you, yeah, like saying Shrek quotes and shit. And uh, man, so like whenever I get a message now, it just starts with "Hey Shrek." <laughs> of and course, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> the um, I'm gonna read this one quick, and then I want to talk about the uh, I'll show you a thing. The Crusader for fucking fifty dollars. Jesus, hate to interrupt current topic. I hope the Limbaugh family never sees the TYT video that just uploaded today about Rush. It's fucking vile. I'm going to say this about that, and I, I, I agree with you. I know the video you're talking about. I, I will say it again. I said it earlier about Twitter, and I say this because I care about you guys, like legitimately. Please lower the amount of toxic content that you, you take. Like there's no way that doesn't have a toll on people. I just... I just today, I mean, I had like a fucking breakdown. I was like, man, everything's so fucking just like people are so fucking evil online. And they're just not like that in real life. Like if you go, if yeah. I go to the pub, like I play in a darts league and I'm in a bowling league. Yeah. Su- super normie boomer shit. And you know what? I look around when I see everybody 
I, you know, what is it? Maybe a hundred people every Saturday night in my bowling league. Everybody's happy. And in that room, there's Trump voters and there's Biden voters and there's nobody gives a fuck. Like, go out and touch some grass because these people are fucking vile and they'll and they're, they're all crabs in a bucket that will pull you down with them because that's the only thing that gets them through the day is knowing in their mind that there's somebody worse than them out there. Um, so. One of, one of the yeah. things I've caught, I caught myself doing, right, and I immediately pull myself out of it is like, see, whenever I got like a nice email or a nice Twitter DM or like a nice, like uh, mention, I would read it and go, oh, that, oh, that's nice. And then I would immediately move on. But any time I got, I got a bad one, I would like focus on it and reply like fuck you yeah, like all that stuff and then when I caught myself doing that I could like feel myself like slowly but surely becoming fucking miserable yeah. so now whenever I get a night I try and reply and I get a lot I get far more nice messages than I do bad ones but for some reason I was focusing on the fucking bad ones well, and, we're, and we're I was just programmed to do that miserable. I, I'll see yeah. that. I'll, I'll look at a YouTube comment section. I actually am one of the few people I think that I do look at my YouTube comments all the time, and I, I'll like. It's so weird that like it's almost like your eyes don't even see the positive ones, and then all of a sudden yeah. it'll all be it'll yeah. all be out of focus, and then you'll see the one that they're like, oh, this you know fucking grifter, and then you get, and then they just suck you in, and you're like, oh, qu or like on Twitter, you know what I mean, like. I'll get a hundred people replying positively and I'll see one person like, Oh, is this you OGP in your basement? And then I get sucked into that. Like, I just, I stopped today. I just started blocking them. I was like, fuck you. If you're, if you're just here to, to bring me down, like if you disagree with me, that's fine. Or you have, you have a funny meme to, you know, that's fine. But if you're just literally on my thread to be a piece of shit, you're just fucking gone. I, it's just, that's one thing that I've really changed. Um, it, you know, as I've gotten older, I used to like say, oh, you know, blocking people for pussies. But and it, maybe it still is. But, man, I just can't. I just it, I was getting too fucking negative all the time. And it would be all I would see. You know, there'd be a thousand positive things. And for some reason, I would only see the negative. And it's just I don't know what it is, but yeah. it's something. There's something to it. I've, I've stopped doing it now. I've stopped doing it now. Like there was even there's even one like I know. Like, see how it's the fact. Remember how like the rumors of like he's a racist, he's a Nazi, and all yeah. that type of stuff. I've I've resigned myself to the fact that there's nothing you're going to do to get them to stop that. Like they know they know that you're actually not. They're just willingly lying about you. And there was one woman that had no idea what to do, and I, I tweeted something out about like I watched a, uh, I watched I saw the devil. It's yeah. a Korean movie. It's mm -hmm. fucking great, by the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, oh, so I saw the devil and blah blah blah. And she was like, huh, bet you would have liked it more if uh, there was white people in it. Yeah, fucking and I, and I just, I, 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 I just, no, I just replied going, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then she was, and then she was kind of like, oh, oh, and all, man, it's just, you know, why, why are you so shocked if I'm acting exactly like you apparently think I am? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like, yeah. What time? I, don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, um, I think that even, um, Sunny Jim says his ego. But yeah, it must be. I mean, I mean, I think at the core of it, like in the literal part of your brain, um, you know, uh, that must be that you, you just you don't even you start to stop caring about the people that are there to support you and you just focus on the negative. And I actually think that being self-aware of that is um, really important to the longevity of not just your own mental health, but your channel. That's why it's like. If I got in one of these stupid reply video wars with one of these stupid channels that have been barking at my car as I drive by for the past two years, I would be the one <laughs> that would be, you know, I would get the strike. I would, I would make yeah. a mistake. Like, and, and, and I have so much more to lose than them. So it's like, no, I, I don't like people send me the, these videos to these people. I'm like, nope, I already see, I've, dude, I've seen it happen too many times to literal friends of ours that they get in these pissing yeah. matches with these, people with a lot less to lose and they fucking and it costs them everything so it's i'm not doing it um what was that uh was there a, yeah. a, a tweet about um jessica yaniv's coin slot vagina was that a thing that happened this week i have actually <laughs> safely managed to avoid it i heard about it oh and i just God. sort of went 
I just sort of went, I am just not going to click my mentions for the next few days. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just going to avoid it. And like the, the fact the fact is, pe- people are now going to fucking tweet it at me now that I've said it on here. Yeah, And that's fine. I, I know ahead of time, like, after this, I'm going to play some Magic the Gathering. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch watch some things on Netflix while I do so, and I'm I'm not I'm not gonna click my mentions. So Dude. go fuck yourself. Yeah, right. I think that was one where I was like, I think because Bla- I follow Blair, you know, and like I think Blair did a video on it, and I just saw that quote. I don't know if it's something like she said or was if it was a meme, but I or they said, uh, or if it was a meme, I was like, nope. I just I noped out. I, I saw I saw like out of the corner of my eye that that comment. I was like, no, fucking no, no, I'm not doing. It. No, f- fuck that. So f- Facebook, um, this is uh, via Ars Technica, just to explain it. Facebook has gone nuclear in its long-running battle with the Australian government over news content. Australia is considering legislation that would require Facebook to pay to link to Australian news stories. This is very similar to what you guys, what, what you, um, was it the Article 13? It was similar to Article 13 in regards to news aggregators, yeah. And yeah. basically, if that's what's happened in Australia, then that is exactly what we said would happen. They tried yep. to pioneer the exact same thing in the... Uh, I believe it was Germany and Italy, and in Germany it was so bad that Google News, Google, it, it was so bad in both the places that Google News just went nope and just leap, leapt right the fuck. No, it was it was Italy, Germany, and Spain, Germany and Spain. Okay. Germany immediately pulled out of it, and Google News came back. Spain like held on to this law for a bit too long. And what happened was they went, oh, this is terrible. Like, uh, we're, we're not going to do it anymore and repealed the law. But even after they repealed the law, Google News never came back. Yep. And I, I think that might still be the case today where you, you can't get the Google News aggregator in Spain. Yeah, it, it is one of the fucking only an 80 year old boomer who still thinks the Internet is a series of tubes would ever have uh, the, the written that law in government have no fucking idea people in government have no fucking idea how the internet works they have no clue yeah and they and they and and what they try to say and i think a lot of it comes from lobbyists too because they'll say like well this is to protect part of it well i don't remember if it was the same thing i get it all mixed up now because it was like a year or two ago but it was also around the same time they started talking about oh copyright law this is the same bullshit that they did in the united states um, they, they made it a rider into this, uh, where like these, how do I say politicians were taking money from like Warner media and all this shit. And then they had this bullshit, like copyright, uh, uh, infringement act, like posted on to some regular government bill. And we just sat there and did nothing about it. And it's like, and a bill passed and I, I don't understand. Yeah, it's, it's like- it's like when the big lobbyists and like corporations and everybody that back them like come in, they go, "Oh, but this is to protect uh, fair use and mm-hmm. protect the children and protect right. this." And it's just you know, like you, you're you're a corporation. You're you're not trying to do anything good. Like why, right. why are you fucking lying? Like, man, like, it's just I'll just be honest and come out and go. This is to protect my interests. Yeah, like, money. <laughs> just just. <laughs> Real, be real about it at least fuck's sake it was like article 13 the the biggest fucking pushers and promoters of it were music labels yep yep and, and it, we were and we were a guy and and the internet knew like the users knew but the shit still went through although article 13 did get pushed for now uh but they'll still try to they'll they'll get it through eventually and and the idea oh, yeah, they're gonna yeah they'll get it through because we're we're ruled by fucking uh, people who don't understand the way the real world works, and and it's just like, oh, th- we gave you a million dollars for your campaign reelection fund, and um, here we've we've done all the hard work, we've written it for you, um, and you just fill your name in right there, and um, you know next time you're up for reelection, we'll we'll make sure we uh, give you another check, and that's how this shit gets yeah. into law. It's like see see if someone was like raised in a well off family and went to like some like posh school and shit like that and then they they immediately got a job at like because their because their dad or their family has right. connections yeah. and like their, their first ever job that you know that the first job is the one where you're making minimum wage mm. but they were probably on like forty k yeah 
Yeah, right, right. For their fucked up job and all that, and now they're in government, and now they're pulling in about like two, three hundred k, you know, plus their expenses on top of that. Like, fuck off! You have no idea how the real world works. Did you post you have that? No clue. Was it you? There's what? like some politician in the UK that's like a trust fund kid, and I thought you posted it. It was somebody who was basically like, "Fuck you! You've never worked a day in your life," and it was like um, some young looking UK politician guy talking about how he was. You know, gonna fight for the for the people, but his history was essentially right. He was a born a millionaire, never punched a clock his entire life, and got into government. That's how most of these fucks get there. They're not. Yeah. How many coal miners are senators? You know, z- fucking manufacturing people zero. Um. So anyway, it says. Facebook argued that the proposal fundamentally misunderstands the relationship between our platform and publishers who use it to share news content. Facebook argues that news sites benefit from the traffic Facebook sends them far more than Facebook benefits by linking. I would probably agree with that to those news sites because Facebook, then they leave Facebook. Um, Facebook said that last year it sent 5.1 billion free referrals to the Australian publishers, traffic the company estimates is worth at least $400 million dues. Facebook also sought to distinguish itself from Google and other technology giant targeted by the proposed Australian law. Google search is inexorably intertwined with news, and publishers do not voluntarily provide their content, Facebook said. On the other hand, publishers willing to choose to post news on Facebook as it allows them to sell more subscriptions, grow their audience, and increase advertising revenue. Um, and I think Facebook just said, eat a dick. And I actually think that's the right move. Like, fuck you then. You know what? You just, all right, you can't have Facebook then. You can't post any links. Eat a dick. They had ABC Australia, by the way. And they also nuked their, uh, they nuked their previous posts too. So ABC Australia. By the way, sorry, I'm 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 back now. I have yeah. no idea what happened there, but you completely cut out for me. I fi- I figured out that you were gone, so I just kept going. But um. Ah, oh, fair. Yeah. So, could you? He- oh, you couldn't hear me. Did you hear the part? So it was basically, Facebook said, um, that they sent 5.1 billion referrals. Did you hear that part? No. Okay, so Facebook says that last year they sent 5.1 billion free referrals to Australian news publishers. Traffic the company estimates is worth 400 million dollar dues, um, and and they're basically saying like, listen, motherfuckers, um, we're giving you f- traffic, we're not charging you for it, um, and now you want to charge us to post your links. Eat a dick. And um, fair enough. Yeah, and then basically ABC. Um, news.com.au, the Australian Sydney Morning Herald, all of their posts are gone. And um, I, I I don't – and it's weird because people are saying, you know, like Disclosed TV, which I know has obviously their slants, but is a good account to follow just, you know, keep up to date with shit. They're like, this is yeah. that big tech fascism. I'm like, what are you talking about? If, if, if I were running a business – a global business and one country was like, we're going to tax you. I would just say, suck my dick and shut it off. That's not fascism. That's them saying, no, we're not going to pay you uh, to send you free traffic. I actually signed, unless I'm misunderstanding yeah, it. Plus, I'm, plus, I'm, plus, no, plus, plus this is something that they seem to have implemented on the platform. See if the platform just went, yeah, I've just decided I'm going to fuck all you over. Then, you know, that that's a bit like morally fucked up. But see the fact that they all went to the platform like this is what you're going to do now, and the platform went, no, I'm I'm not no. fucking yeah. doing that. We not don't need your like, entire yeah. continent. <laughs> like, we don't we don't need any of your business. Fuck off. I I don't know. My Imagine what will to... happen if nobody has any idea about any of the news happening in Australia. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <For you. laughs> I'll just assume they were taken over by ostriches again. But the you know the um, the emus or emus. Sorry, <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, emus. Just, we find out it's turned into fucking Mad Max. <laughs> yeah. Except every, everyone, everyone's like riding fucking kangaroos with a great big like chariot wheel spikes attached <laughs> to the side of them. And shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, 
unless I'm misunderstanding it, I I under I I would I side with Facebook in this. I would say no, fuck you. I'm not paying you for fucking links. Eat a dick. Um, and that's exactly what they did. The idea that um, you know, I, I'm not. Am I misunderstanding this? I, I feel like this is the right move. If you're, if I mean, I would support this move. Yeah, there's there's one there's one thing where it's a case of you know like, well, if you want to be a free speech, if you want to be a platform about speech, if that's your integral purpose, then you're going to have to protect speech rights. Mm. Like especially yeah. if you since you dominate like so much of the market, but if it's something like. Yeah, you need to pay us money now. Like, if you want to, like, use our stuff, something that the fucking, they, like, Facebook doesn't control. Other people post the fucking links. Not not right. Facebook. Yeah. There was a the host, so Facebook's like, well, fuck you, no. Well, not I, a chance, which I, th I think that's fair. I think that is fair. And how, and, and, and honestly, it's, it's like the fact that other people post a link make it uh, untenable. Like if you, what a, I Facebook Inc is gonna have to pay for every fucking link that uh, John Didgeridoo posts in fucking Australia. Like, well, how does that work? The yeah, I I don't understand. Um, you know, I know it's 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 popular to dunk on Facebook, but I mean, again, as I say with anything, you could just not use it. Like, it's very easy to, you know. You know, when they ban people, when they when they censor people, obviously I have a problem with that. Um, but look, people should use Minds.com. I love Minds, um, and you know, yeah, Minds is really good. Yeah, Minds fucking works awesome, and and they successfully navigated the, you know, alt tech apocalypse. Um, and I suppose we should talk about uh, Parlor coming back too, in a form. I mean, it's back ish the web version uh isn't doesn't work but the app does work and it seems like a lot of the people are back i'm a, i'm having about i don't know 50 percent of the interaction i had before which is good considering you know it's still limping along and they're they don't they don't have um i don't know if how do I say? I don't know if it's open globally yet or not. I, I saw. Yeah. I saw Paul. I saw PJW say it wasn't working for him. That was a few days ago, but it seems to be working for me now. It deleted all my old posts, which I don't really care about. Um, and people still, still in its in its crippled state, I get more interactions on Parlor than I do on on Twitter, which is fucking hilarious. It, it's like that's how shadow banned I am on, on Twitter. Yeah. Either that or everyone like, that I was follows just me is... I just, I, just, I, just, I just opened it there. It's not actually letting me in, but fuck it, it's fine. <laughs> well, um, did you the, did you open the app? No, not the app. Yeah, the, the web app. version's not open yet. The web version's not up. Oh, uh, right, right. And then if you... I noticed that if if you open the app... You may have to sign out and then sign back in, because like it kept you log in. It didn't. Once I logged out and logged back in, um, then it worked. So, fair enough. Yeah. So I mean, they need to move quickly. I think they can't, you know, have this phased rollout that lasts a month. They need to get up as quick as they reasonably can. They need to get the web version back up, because even when they went down, the web version didn't work very good. Um, it was constantly yeah. failing. Like when I was po trying to post links or posters for that, it wasn't working, but man, I'm excited for an alternative. I hope it doesn't stay a right wing echo chamber though. I hope that, all right, the media smeared it. Now, if enough time can pass, um, you know, and yeah, can get I, I, Go ahead. I, I think, I think the biggest problem with it is, uh, whenever an alternative, we've spoke about this before, but like whenever an alternative opens up. The very first people you're going to get are going to be like the edges, the yeah. my, my wooden doors. Am I right, guys? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. that. That's 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 going to be the first thing that you get, and basically that is what 
journalists are going to look for and define your website by, but they're being like hypocritical as fuck about it. Like, oh, do you know these types of things are on Parlor? Uh, oh, people are doing this on Parlor. Yeah, well, the Christchurch shooter fucking streamed his shit on Facebook. Right. Right, so I guess that's Facebook's fault. Like, I fucking... I, what a big story in my country when it happened. Like, a little girl literally fucking hung herself, like, fucking live on Facebook. And the video apparently stayed up for, like, four or five hours Jesus. before Facebook fucking took it down. Yeah, and it was getting shared all around our school, all around our friends, our family fucking seen it. Got and you. all this shit. Like, yeah, yeah so, yeah, th- 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 that's Facebook. Nobody goes, oh, it's Facebook. Oh, it's Twitter. Oh, it's YouTube. And all that. The only time they do it is when the platform has a focus on freedom of speech for everyone. Well, yeah, it's when it's convenient, right? And then um, it's, yeah. it's selective outrage. And it's so frustrating that all of everyone, you know, can see it except like all of us here can see that except the normies. Like I talk to normies about parlor and they're like, Oh, is that that like Republican social media site? I'm like, no, like <laughs> I do think that one. And if I could talk to bone, bone genio or whatever his name is, I would argue, I would tell him like, or any new social media platform do fucking not brand yourself as a free speech alternative. Just don't because yeah, yeah. you can't, you cannot be a free speech alternative, but what you can be is a, is a, is a platform that evenly enforces your terms of service and, and it doesn't shadow ban people and doesn't it, uh, ban people for ideological reasons. That's literally the only USP that you need to offer your customers. We won't ban you for being a conservative or a fucking Mormon or whatever, uh, or or a far lefty, unless you break terms of service, and we're not going to do it selectively. If if conservatives do it, and if if left liberals do it, they both get the the ban hammer equally, and that's all yeah. most people want. You can't keep saying because then you see all these fucking people who either willfully misunderstand or don't understand the way shit works. I'm sorry, I'm not saying that it's right or that it's the same thing as the First Amendment. But no, you can't have a platform that allows like calls to violence. I I, I don't care. Yeah. Like you can't have a plat. You there are certain like things that any platform is not going to be able to allow. Period. So stop opening yourself up to it by calling yourself a free speech alternative. Yeah, pe- people give us people give us like shit like that for like uh, the Dank Brigade Discord. Like, even though like I yeah. don't actually own the Dank Brigade, it's not owned by my account or anything. Like, I just have an administrator role in it. That's all. But like, people go, ah, you you ban Lolly and you ban this and you ban like this certain edgy well, shit and, and you ban and you ban Gore. Yeah, free, free speech. Thought you were a free speech guy, and it's like a case of like yeah, like. We like stuff like that. We would allow under arguments of free speech, but it's not us. It's literally Discord's terms of service. If we have shit like that, like and uh, basically we, our Discord's been yeeted twice. Now, like we've got like fucking I think it's ten or twenty thousand fucking people in it, and like our Discord's been deleted twice. So it's a case of like we have to because if we don't, then Discord themselves will delete the server. Yeah, it's such a frustrating thing. I know there are a lot of, not a lot. There are people in my audience too that, that are like, "Oh, I thought you were pro pro free free speech. Why can't I just you know put this video of a birding cat on?" Like, no, you you literally even if I mean, I'm not sure there's even a physical way to have what you want an absolute free speech platform. Uh, it it doesn't exist because at some point. You will use somebody else's pr- property or product to exist, and they're going to ban you. We've seen this with yeah. uh, Patreon didn't even ban a lot of the people that they did. MasterCard did, and MasterCard told told Patreon, "Hey, you know, you have eight million normies. You have six hundred thousand of them use a MasterCard to pay. We're going to shut all of that off unless you ban these three people." That's and then people are like, "Oh, Patreon, but no, actually, MasterCard did." And, and you, you're going to have, you know, the same thing with, you know, your utopian idea of this free, not you, but a hypothetical free speech thing. 
it's just it's not it, you eventually you're going to run into somebody who has a terms of service uh in the current mm. system and and it's just not reasonable so just nothing illegal yeah jesus fight christ right nothing illegal nothing against terms of service everything else is allowed simple um i'm sorry uh you know the 2000 people that are upset and will call you a cuck life will go on yeah you know parlor did some weird shit like they got rid of their ceo i i don't know the history i don't know the board of directors uh ousted the ceo i don't know if we're ever gonna know exactly what happened there um and you know what parlor's gonna have to have rules and you know what i want parlor to be back and people say you don't need it yeah i know but i want it back on the google play and, and apple store because that's yeah. how you get fucking normies. Like you need to have normies. Otherwise, um, you're not gonna reach critical mass. Now it has twenty million users, allegedly. That's kind of probably all you need. I mean, that's a lot of fucking users. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's just it present presents it all on a level fucking playing field. Like that's it, just all the ideas, all the channels, all the whatever. Right. I mean, th this is the thing is, if there's something that's like bad, like, say, for example, if someone's like preaching like complete fucking pseudoscience or some shit like that, then fucking people can reply to it. People can reply to it and prove it wrong and shit like that. Like, yeah. nobody, nobody should just believe the very first thing that they come across. Right. Like, can consider like fucking both sides of the argument. Unfortunately, some people don't do that, but this is the problem, right? And I, I hear this all the fucking time. Right, as someone go, well, you you try and say that we should like debate and like talk to people and try and change their mind, and like I've been doing that, and like some of the people like their minds just cannot be changed. And I went, okay, did you walk up to them acting really really smug, acting like you were the biggest brain that they had ever seen, <laughs> yeah, and then right. talked down to them and made them feel stupid? And they're like, no. And then I'm like, let me see the conversation. And then I see it and I'm like, okay, that's exactly what you did. So no wonder the person didn't fucking listen to you. Like, you were more interested in flexing your intellect than you were in actually changing this person's mind. Yeah. And honestly, you won't change every mind. And that's okay. The yeah. problem is they're like, yeah. I can't change the mind. So therefore, I want to ban it. Like, I, yes. I, it's a gray yeah. area. You bring up the pseudoscience thing. That is a, I have a, maybe a, an opinion you'd probably, you probably disagree with me, but you know, I don't mind banning that stuff. Um, if it's known to be harmful, I'm not saying all, mm -hmm. you know, all alternative medicine, but you know, if you look at like black salve or these people selling miracle mineral solution, MMS, which is, you know, sold as this panacea where it, it cures all this shit, but it's really just bleach. Like, I don't care. That shit can be banned. You know, like... Yeah, that, that's... It's, it's, see, there, there's certain information. Like, this is a thing is in Freeze Me Speech, right? And it's a... Uh, it's called malicious misinformation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? And it, it's when you are actively, like, trying to trick someone mm -hmm. into bringing harm to themselves... And everything like see for example if there is a live wire hanging at a wall and this person looks at you as an authority on the wire like you might be the electrician or you might be the fucking the head tech or something like that and they go is this wire live and you go no oh no, touch it <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah you can you, you can grab that wire you know you yeah. can grab it with your teeth if you want right you've passed on malicious misinformation as an authority to trick that person into bringing themselves harm like see for example like if i walk up to a fucking adult now it's caught it's a very common theme that no you should not drink fucking bleach right so if i walked up to like you jeremy and i'm like oh dude man bleach is delicious you should fucking drink it mm. see see if you drink it like that's fucking on you i agree right? that's you I being agree. an idiot if if I walk up to a four year old and I say, yeah. "Oh, bleach is delicious. You should drink some," then I should go to fucking jail. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah, because I'm you... as an authority figure, I'm I'm abusing I'm abusing that by passing malicious misinformation onto someone to trick them into hurting themselves. Yeah, it's a it's a gray area. I just have a like a I have a I get uh, I'm sensitive to the um, the the grifter like fake medicine people because they prey on people yeah. like in their weakest moment where they're like 
oh, if you just, put, you know, oh, you've got terminal cancer, um, just buy these magnets and stick them up your ass. And then you, you'll be like, fuck you, ban them. I, I just, I don't care. Like, yeah, I, yeah. You know, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. The, um, it's because it's because they're presenting themselves as authority figures. Like a lot yeah. of them will fucking like do that shit when they've got like uh, they'll be wearing like a lab coat in their video and yeah. like talking about it. And <laughs> they have a doctorate like, from. You've, them. Ne you, yeah. you've never even drove past a medical school, <laughs> yeah. you fucking liar, lads! Like fuck you. <laughs> yeah, they'll have a doctor, uh, a doctorate from like some fucking country that ends in Stan that they got on the internet for like five hundred bucks. And uh, yeah, and, and and they're they're always based in like Malaysia or something like that. Uh, I want to I want to wind. I know it's late for you, but I just wanted to finish on this tweet. I don't know if you saw it today or not, but um, uh, I'll put it in Discord. What, what do you think? What do, what are your opinions on this? Oh, All right, fucking. Krog, destroyer of worlds. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? That's oh, a woman. My God. Get woke, man. Is, that re is it? Is it though? <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a trans woman playing on a girls' high school or a college basketball team. That last picture is why? the one, man. The last picture is the fucking one, dude. Right. Just that, raging why are they biceps. playing? A why are they playing like at a high school team? That person looks like they're in their fucking forties. <laughs> this might be no, it's a college mission college. Oh god! <laughs> fucking Jesus! I just Christ. can't wait for a fucking fucking windmill dunk, uh, where like his, their dick is right in this kid's. All right, yes. all right, shower time, girls. Get that weak shit out of here, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> it's just back back of the strip. Just says, "Ma'am." Yeah, yeah. forty two. <laughs> just fucking, just the fucking number, number forty two. Dikembe Mutombo fucking rejections where the ball flies halfway across the fucking gym and the kid and the girl's nose is broken. <laughs> Fucking just le legs and limbs are just bent the wrong direction and shit, and she's just pounding her chest like yeah! <laughs> No advantage though, Dank. No advantage. No advantage. No, not no advantage. Despite despite the fact that she's got literally, and this isn't even exaggeration. If you could see the pictures, she's got like two feet on every other fucking person on the park, and about <laughs> seventy five pounds. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, people are asking for me to show the pic. I I uh, I I put the the link in uh in uh chat. And hey, for all for all you out there, look, live your best life. I have nothing against uh, you doing that, but uh, no, you you should not be playing women's college basketball. There is, um, like this, 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 is, yeah. this is a story that I can tell you, right? And it relates to something like this, right? Uh, year, years and years ago, I used to play rugby, right? I used to play a lot of rugby when I was younger. And um, the, we went to a tournament, right? And we were playing in the under-16s. Now, there was a bunch of other teams, and this was like, it would have been a big scandal if it wasn't just like, it's like really minor, minor, minor league rugby, right? Oh, this was just, it. it's not... You see how clubs that aren't listed as like official clubs, they're not part of any leagues or anything like that. They're just clubs that people like start and they ha they all talk to each other and make their own little league, you know, like that, that type of thing. But basically, like we went to the under 16s and then we were getting paired off with like getting put up against other teams. And we were looking at some of the people on the other teams going, there is no fucking way that some of them are under fucking 16. Yeah, yeah. Right? We, yeah our old baseball league used to be that. Someone's like fucking 33 playing on these young kids' teams. Yeah, like some, 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 of these, some of these guys were like fucking massive, right? They were big fucking beefers. And then the accusations came from our coaches. And it wasn't just coaches for our team. It was coaches on other teams and everything as well. Going, I want to see some. And one of the, this guy had like the really tight shirt on, and he had like big biceps and fucking shit like <laughs> full that. Full grown man. And, my, and, yeah. 
And my co- my coach is sitting screaming, going, "Your ass, your fucking ass! He's under sixteen. Your fucking ass!" Like fucking shouting, going, "Look at you! You look like you've got a fucking wife and kids." <laughs> No, man, right? He's got like a fucking and, old man mustache. Like, yeah, that, and this was the thing is like I I had I had a little a little bit of facial hair back then, right? I had a I had a fucking weird puberty, the, right? But yeah. like, I had a little bit of facial the hair back then. Mustaches. But there's and the other the other coaches were pointing at me, going, "There's no way he's under sixteen either." Like fucking look at him. You've got one in your own team, right? And I mean, which which wouldn't which would have fucking which would have probably been a good good fucking you know comeback yeah. if I wasn't like an eighty pound scrawny little fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, fucking, and that that was that was the thing, isn't it? It was this huge thing, and what ended up happening is like nothing was getting. You see, because I said like it's all these clubs just come together and have their like own little league mm. type thing. We we don't we didn't have like a ruling body, you know. We yeah, didn't yeah, have yeah. like the fucking F, F, like the, the SFA or anything like that over us. So what ended up happening was just loads of people like fucking walked out of the competition and refused to play it and that's what's going to happen in fucking women's sports yeah. and women's events women, women are eventually just going to go you know what fuck it no we're not taking part because what's going to happen is it's it, it, if it's allowed to go on then women's sports will it will be absolutely fucking dominated by trans athletes it will yeah. it'll be completely dominated by it'll be so it's so funny to me by the way the best part about the picture is their wolf they have a huge wolf tattoo on their bicep and then what appears to be a fucking like dragon and a naked woman on their calf like (laughs) (laughs) i've just seen that (laughs) it looks like a woman praying to a dragon yeah (laughs) A naked, a naked woman praying to a dragon. Like at one point, this person was like supreme alpha male, and now they're just dunking on eighteen-year-old girls. The, the uh, there's a a, a fighter in and uh, mixed martial arts. I guarantee they're not in the. I'm sh- almost positive they're not in the UFC. I really hope not. Who is a a, a male to female? Uh, and again, live your best life. Uh, they've currently fractured. They've had two opponents, in which they fractured both of their skulls. Like, imagine taking that fight. Like, I get it. You're like, I'm a woman. Hear me roar. But it's basic fucking physics. Like, there's no. And this yeah. this person is killing them. <laughs> like, what the? F- <laughs> I've, if I get there, I'm like, I'm not fighting a dude biologically. Like, not happening. Nope. I'm out. I, that, that's it. Like you said, I'll fucking walk out. Done. Fucking yeah, find was it, Wasn't else. there a famous case? Wasn't there a famous case? I think it happened. I think it was Spain. I think, I think it happened in Spain where it was basically like the fucking... It was like the football, like football, so- soccer for uh, you fucking weirdos out there. Oh across yeah, yeah. The, water. the high school team yeah. beat them. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it, yeah, it was, it was the high school team versus like the the Spanish like women's football team. So it was like Spain. They're they like play Olympic for Spain. Team. They represent yeah. the country, <laughs> and they played a fucking like high school team of boys, and the boys absolutely annihilated <laughs> them. It was like eleven <laughs> nil. They didn't score a goal. Like it was yeah. absolute fucking destruction. It wasn't like seven to five. It was like eleven nil, and it's like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, men are bigger, faster, and stronger on average. This, that's this, the way it that's, is. That's 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 no one's fault. That's no. that's just nature. <laughs> yeah, that's, and it's that's not... just the way it goes, right? We've got balls that generate testosterone. We've got that little gland in our brain that generates testosterone. Yeah, look, this 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 is just the way things are, right? You know, it's it's not our fault. I mean, if you if you want it, then whatever. If 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 this is what you want, then make women eligible for conscription. Yeah, right. <laughs> Why not? Uh, apparently, the civil lawsuits against Kyle Rittenhouse have been dismissed. Now Oh shit. That's the civil lawsuits. So Yeah, he, yeah. He's still going yeah, to prison. Yeah. I I will t- I'll tell you this and I I I've I was on record originally like when this stuff happened, I don't think um Derek Chauvin, the cop in Min- Minnesota will do any real any prison time and I don't think Kyle Rittenhouse will either. Um Which which cop is that? Chauvin, the guy. Is the, it, 
the guy, George Floyd guy. Oh, is it? right. Now, do, do you want do you want my take on this? Yeah. By the way. Yeah. Right. Chauvin a hundred percent completely fucked up and should not have been sitting on Floyd like that. And there's Agreed. a sp- specific reason for it. Right. <coughs> Sorry, just dying. Get yeah. the run. But uh, basically, even as just as private security, right now we learn certain techniques for people and the only time we were allowed to like take someone to the ground and shit like that was if they started fighting because it's a case of they, these are now a threat to others they're a threat to guests threat to other security take him to the ground hold him to the ground call the police mm-hmm. right and wait until the police get there whereas police need to make like fucking full arrests and everything like that and usually there's only two of them usually there's only two of them whereas whenever we're bouncers like Initially, it'll be one bouncer, but as soon as shit kicks off, there's eight bouncers there, yeah. like to help out immediately because they're all like maybe about twenty feet away. But this is the thing: is we learn things about certain restraining and holding techniques and stuff like that. And there's a, th- a thing that you have to watch out for, right? And we get tell- told to watch out for this for people who are on clearly on drugs or extremely drunk or they're big fat fuckers or they're big guys, right? And it's called positional asphyxiation. Mm-hmm. And that's so, so. Basically, if you've got a great big fucking fat guy and you've got him down on the ground, like on his uh, on his, his front, own, their own weight his, will his, crush him. Yeah, exactly. Because basically, yeah. they're they're a big fat guy. Muscly guys as well. Muscly mm-hmm. guys have got a lot of weight and everything, right? And basically, if you're the lying on the front, their lungs are having to fight against like their whole the weight of their whole body to take in a breath. Mm-hmm. Right, so basically that cop having his knee right there on the back of the fucking neck, that's, if you look at the position of the knee, it's not just on the fucking neck, it's also on his back, right? So basically that his lungs were having to fight against that cop's knee. To fuck, Yes, I understand he OD'd, yes, I understand he had drugs in his fucking system, right, right, right. but the problem is with it, and, and that's the thing is you need to watch out for drugs as well, not enough oxygen is getting to the blood and making it to the brain, so a positional asphyxiation is more likely when the person is on drugs. All I'm saying is basically that the the way that cop restrained him, he absolutely should not have fucking done that, and he should have known better. Like when, Whenever we were learning restraining techniques, we were told, no, you never, ever do that. Putting weight on legs and arms to stop them flailing about, yeah, that's absolutely fine. That's not a problem whatsoever. But they always say like things like, the back, the neck, the chest itself, no, you're absolutely not allowed to do that. In fact, if, if you do that here in Scotland, you lose your fucking license. Well, and to be, uh, to be clear, I don't want to go down the road of, of right or wrong. I do want to just say that, I mean, I'm saying I don't think he'll do time. That's not me saying he shouldn't yeah. or that he didn't do anything wrong. I'm just yeah. saying he won't because he followed uh, some – I won't even go down the road. I don't think – but anyway, Kyle Rittenhouse is a less – I think is a more cut and dry scenario um, where I can say confidently he absolutely 100% should not be going to jail. He was clearly defending himself. The video evidence proves it. And I think that um, when you get into a court with a jury that will see the video of a pedophile chasing him, um, and they'll know he's a pedophile because he has good defense attorneys, when they see a pedophile trying to hit him with a skateboard, a little tiny baby face kid, um, like that's... I don't think the pedophile was the, was the skateboard. I think the pedophile was the got his first hand... guy. Yeah, you got his hand fucking no, blown no, up. No, right? no, no. Oh no, no, that was no, the, that that was the last guy. There was three people that he shot. The first one was that little bald guy that was going, "Shoot me, shoot me, yeah, nigga, shoot yeah. me!" Like, like him, like that was the first guy that Kyle killed. And I, I believe that he was the he was the pedo. Oh, I like, thought the pedo I, still got yeah. his hand blown off. He was like holding onto the rifle. Yeah, anyway, no, that, that that was that was the third guy. I don't know anything about him actually, but I I don't. He wasn't like the pedo. He wasn't the pedo. Okay. Well, anyway, I don't think he'll do time either. But I could be wrong. There's yeah. a reason that they do but, these trials years later. Yeah, yeah. the the one the one thing the one thing that I 
I, w- I would like to point out, right, and K- Kyle fucking did this right now. See how, like, we'll meme and stuff like that. We might post the odd, you know, a spi- spicy take and everything. And one of the things as well is, like, you know, maybe maybe if we pose for a selfie, we might do the OK symbol just to, just to piss people off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And all that, right? Mm-hmm. Kyle was in a bar. That was stupid. And, really uh, fucking stupid. And, and he, he, t- he, t- he took a picture. See if he was just taking a selfie with someone, whatever. But he made the okay symbol, and it's a case of like, mate, see, see, see if it's just a chance of you know, your Twitter might get banned, or your YouTube might get banned, or you might get an article or two written about you, then whatever, fine, fucking fill your boots, right? But if it's a case of you could be going to jail for the rest of your life, Jesus Christ, do not fucking do shit like that. Yeah. Don't like, the, 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 no, no meme is worth it. See, see when the risk is that high, the, the, that's the thing is, see when it's far too risky, don't meme. Yeah, don't meme, don't do any it. ironic shit. Yeah, yeah, it's not worth it. Oh, my apologies. Yeah, bicep guy was the wife beater. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, yeah. Both of the guys yeah. were garbage, from what I remember. Uh, two of the guys. Um, so yeah, very stupid to tempt fate, uh, in, in a situation where you, he very easily could get convicted. I mean, he should, yeah. you know, he's, there's really, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to open that can of worms. We're, we're basically out of time, but, um, uh, I'll say, uh, Andrea or, and yeah. And, and, Andreja, I, uh, if I said that right for two, the great Joe McCarthy, McCarthy, John John, John McCarthy, yeah. yeah, Mad Lad Wen. Yeah, he's fucking nuts. But one one day his story's not yet over. But one day, yeah. Uh, Bullet Shepherd for five. I'm just a simple man who wants to be crushed by Gina Carano's thighs. That's Bullet Shepherd's words. Just so I'm saying. Matthew Hammond for three. Did you see the RB music video with the cartoon character singing about taking? No. Ugh, cringe. Um, I did see that um, Canada was prioritizing race uh, <laughs> for who gets the vaccine first. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, of, of, of course, what way? Like, what what a better way to defeat racism <laughs> than, to, than to pass certain laws and legislation specifically favoring one race over the other? Yeah, right. And that, that's, how, that's how you defeat racism. I, I know. I can't believe we haven't defeated it yet. I mean, they got rid of Aunt Jemima. I mean, what else is there? The um, Yeah. See No Evil for 5. Jeremy, can you check out Gitmo, Gitmo.life? It's a decent alt platform with a video. Might be great for interaction with subs. God, they need to change their name, though. This is part of... Here's the thing. It's like... how A, a lot of... Like, remember Hatreon? It's Hatreon all over again. Like... Jesus Christ! Don't call your platform Hatreon, uh, yeah. and think that the me and think that the media is not going to make it their uh, duty to deplatform you. Um, yeah, if they change her name, I'll promote it. I'm not promoting Gitmo dot life. Um, it's just <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and I don't mean I'm not shitting on you, dude. I'm just saying like, no, get rid of it. Change the fucking name. Um, can you imagine? Ooh, I can't figure out why fucking Apple won't let my Gitmo app on their platform. Um, Joey Bryant for ten. The face value of Facebook banning Australia seems right, but if Facebook gets a if Facebook gets away with it, they're going to go after other countries' news. So no bad new about no oh no bad news about Silicon Valley. They will bend the knee. Well, that'll be interesting, but I think what makes a difference is. What we're talking about here is the government of Australia imposing this. Um, Like, if the government weren't trying to tax Facebook, they would not have made any change. From what I understand, I I could be incorrect. Yeah. That's how I understand it. Um, Philip for five says, Facebook chose to block links. Fuck them. They can pay for the privilege. If Facebook was free speech, I'd be on Facebook's side. They are not pay up free up or fuck off hey <laughs> i hey you're 100 percent. i support you just saying fuck facebook um uh john for five lol our retirement age jumped since a 65 year old politician went back to work so why can't all the guys doing hard yakka work to 70 yeah right uh john for five fuck google fuck facebook fuck australia government duck duck go all the way 
I think this it's a stupid bill, but you have your small wins. Yeah, I mean, I I use DuckDuckGo. I appreciate it. Um, I like that. I mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's honestly, to me, it's just as good as Google, and it's all, and it's way better than Bing. So, um, yeah, uh, Philip, for two so much. So how much do I need a super chat for Dink to read my DM? Um, he may. I mean, I don't know. Keep super chatting and find out. Austin for ten. Um, <laughs> the, the negative bull is why I deleted Twitter. And anytime I see some far left bull, I block him on Instagram. I opened a business in May 2020. Need all the wins I can get. Yeah. And you know what? I'll say this, and I've kind of adopted. This is not obviously. This phrase has been going around for a long time, but you know, I'll say this even with Gina Carano. Like, I would never have judged her for just deleting her Twitter account and securing her bag. Like, I'm just not going to judge somebody for that. Um, I'll call no. out. You know, I'll call out Disney for making that the the situation where she had to either choose to voice her own opinion or get fired. Now, if she had said white people are bad, there would have been any problem with yeah. it. Like, I, I literally can show you an example of Lucasfilm, a Star Wars official Twitter account, tweeting out support for one of their employees who tweeted out anti-white, uh, like racist tweets against white people um and they literally tweeted out in support of her after she got backlash i mean it it, if that doesn't make you like if that does if it isn't painfully obvious um who has the power i don't don't really know what else to say art uh for 10 says yo dank i have a video on my channel that shows my expectations on how your kids should come out of the womb you and sue should watch it the five-month-old baby one lol (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Dean Domino for five. Happy Tism, fellas. Hope you guys go on Nick Ricada's show at some point. He's willing to stream at different times to accommodate guests. I mean, all he has to do is DM me. Um, See, follow yeah. him as well. Yeah. Um, and he came on. I streamed with him the other day. Um, and then some fucking soy version of Gavin McInnes called me, uh, I don't know, a QAnon person or something like that because of some people that were on my stream. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that was about Nick or if that was about Chrissy Meyer. I I don't know. Um, But again, I don't engage like, and I wish that I could get a lot of my fellow YouTubers to just stop retweeting these retards who say stupid things, just block them and move on or mute them. Muting them is even better because then they yell into the void, but just don't, don't signal boost their negativity. It's I, I promise you, you have more to lose. Um, Ozzy, Ozzy for five, Jessica, you Fell over in the bath. Please send help. <laughs> Deplorable pirate captain Gumbeer for five. Did you see where Palmetto State's armory had Carano? Wait, Car Carcano rifles on sale for President's Day. JFK would disavow. Yikes. Cody I for ten at work, but I'll still watch later, fellows. XO, thank you. Adolf Hutler for ten. Keep up the good work, boys. Random stuff. For five, sup, Dank. If you still plan to visit Scottish landmarks, I can set up, set you a base camp at Loch Tay. Uh, G can be procured. I, I don't know if he's talking about jazz cigarettes, but eight off uh, for 10. Thank you. Gavin Deeth for five. On a lighter note, Dank, would you ever watch an episode of Bat Whammon? And Jeremy, what's your favorite Bat Whammon episode? Um, my, my favorite bat whammon episode was episode one season one where it had some of the best lines like uh the bat suit is literal perfection uh it will be when it fits a woman that's i mean that's it doesn't get any uh, yeah <laughs> i watched, I watched critical, critical drinkers that he was on that shit and it's just it's terrible <laughs> it's so bad i just lo- i just love the way he speaks fuck off film <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, think yeah. he's, I think he's brilliant some of the shit one of the funniest moments that I've ever seen have you, have you watched his review of uh, Wonder Woman 1984 yeah yeah actually twice yeah. I think see the, <laughs> see, see the bit where that woman just comes out like like the fucking cat and Critical Drinker just he doesn't even say anything he just laughs <laughs>, <laughs> I fucking love that part, man. I love his fucking laugh there. <laughs> <laughs> J- 
Joey Bryant for 20. Here's some beer money. Thanks for bringing quality news we can trust for once. Just a quick question. Have you seen Creepy Joe having a stroke before a news interview? Hashtag we love Gina Carano. Hashtag Dogecoin to the moon. Uh, no, I just assume he's always in some state of health crisis. Uh, pancakes, fuck me, boys. I'm going to start doing family-friendly stuff. Good. Daniel Smith for five. I heard Sue boils penguins to brew Guinness. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I can't say it's not true. Uh, Jeremy Davis for five. Thank you. Uh, I meant Joe McCarthy. Sorry, he got. I think he got it right. Uh, Gerg says five. Is Dank drinking Guinness? No, I think he's f- trying to stay awake. It's super late for him. Mark Z for five. Remember the new guy meme? It was only a year ago. God damn. Good fuck. Yeah, it does feel like it was a decade ago. And Philip, I, I hate that shit. It makes, me, it makes me feel old. Like remember when Newgrounds tweeted out going like. The ultimate showdown was uploaded 15 years ago yeah. on this day. And I went, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck me. Yeah, it's crazy. Time passage, you know, the daily routine um, is, is uh, it's it's funny. I was, and I'll, well, I know it's late, but I'll just finish with this thought. I was talking to my wife about this, like, especially with, like the YouTube grind where I'm like, I work six days a week. It's like, it's Saturday night. I'm out on either a bowling league or I'm, you know, out relaxing, then like hung over on Sundays and doing boomer shit on Sundays. And then right back into it. And then before you know it, it's like a month later, then it's two months later, then it's three months later. It's crazy. Uh, and, uh, Philip says for two, I'm trying to send you free stuff. Dink. Okay. <coughs> Uh, and center swift five. Thanks for mentioning critical drinker. Sure. I sure. I will love him when I check him out. Oh, sure. I will love him when I check him out. Yeah. Yeah. He's good. Um, Dank just farted. I heard that. Oh, no shit. Did you hear that? Are you sitting on a fucking wooden chair? No, I'm sitting, I'm sitting in my, my gamer chair, man. Oh, they don't I just have, have... I just, my, my cheeks just clap good <laughs> <laughs> what do you got coming up this week hey i saw you had your baby shower that was nice to see uh, uh yeah, yeah that was oh, awesome. many, many thank you thank you very much for all the gifts that you sent jeremy oh, yeah, like, no, yeah. that, i appreciate that yeah i know you're i know yeah. you're in need so i figured you know raid shadow legends can't pay for everything yeah. Oh, th- thanks. Thank. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you got? What yeah. do you got going on this week? I have a mad lad sitting waiting to go up on the channel, and I think it's been demonetized. So I need mm. to get back onto YouTube. Like, please look at it again. Like, oh, yeah. but given given what it's on and some of the footage I have to show, I'm I'm kind of like. Uh, maybe, but you know, maybe. But I, I don't. I want to monetize. Fuck you. Yeah. Give me, well, give me you my don't want to make money. apologies for wanting to make money. Yeah. Fuck, man. You got a baby. Yeah. Way. Exactly. So I'm hoping it will either be uh, Thursday or Friday. Thursday or Friday that that will be up, and then I've got another mad lad going up next week. But it's a short one. But then all next month because the baby could baby could come at any time. I'm just like next week. I'm going to be filming three really short mad lads, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Do you have your go bag ready? Like, isn't that a? Don't you have you're supposed to have like a duffel bag with like shit that you know? Uh, yeah, for it's, when you're ready it's, to... sitting, it's sitting. In our, it's sitting in our bedroom. It's the the hospital bag. This is the the oh fuck bag. Yeah, it's yeah. time. And uh, I've even got a list of the things. The only things that I need to shove in it right are her phone charger. You know. Fair enough. Yep. And then for some reason, her hair dryer and straighteners. She she thinks she's <laughs> gonna straighten her hair at the in the hospital. Yeah, I believe I believe she does. Yeah, right, and, I believe let it go. She, and I'm yep. just sort of like, you're gonna be you're you're gonna be shitting out a giant fucking baby like. <laughs> so you're, I don't I don't know how to say this to Sue, to you, Sue. I love you very much. You are you are the light of my life, mm. but. There is no way that you can look good while doing that. <laughs> yeah. Right, give up. <laughs> yeah, just don't look. You dank, you don't look. Because, you know, you just stay above yeah, the waist. Yeah. Don't, um, don't, uh, yeah. Uh, See No Evil says, YouTube froze. Did you go last, my last super chat about Gitmo.life? Oh, I went on a rant about it, too. 
I said, tell them if you know somebody there to change their fucking name. Um, and then I'll be happy to give them a shout out. Uh, I just, I just can't, I just, it's going to fail with that name. I, I get it. You probably thought whoever named it thought it was funny or ha it feels like it, but trust me when I say the second, if there's enter ever any traction, you're going to, that site will be fucking yeeted like immediately. Um, all right. Well, that's where we're going to, I got this week. Um, my buddy's driving up because his state is frozen. Uh, and all the power's out, so he's driving up to hang out this weekend. I think we're going to go. Um, my wife's thinking about getting a different plane, so we have to get hers ready to maybe sell. And um, so we'll try to do that. And it's the first weekend that uh, isn't like 20 below zero. So uh, maybe I'll take the dog to the park. He got fucking kennel cough, so I can't take him. Oh. Dude, I, 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 the only reason he went to the – dog daycares because it was like uh 20 below zero fahrenheit with the wind chill for the last two or three weeks so you know he needed some exercise he can only chase the laser pointer around inside my living room you know it's not big i don't have a gigantic house um so i'm like well, i'll take him to puppy daycare where he can play with other dogs all day at least until it warms up and uh, he went there twice, and he got fucking kennel cough. So now he can't go back for like three weeks. Plus, I'm fucking pissed at this joint. I'm trying to decide if I need to put him on blast or not on on uh, social media. And um, yeah, like I know it happens, and he'll be fine. It's it's you know it's not like AIDS, but like this is the first time I've ever taken my dog to a kennel, and he got sick, and I was like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah. So I and I can't take him to the dog park. It would be irresponsible of me to take him to the dog park. So I'm gonna take him um, uh, to out to the my land, and we'll just because it will be like 20, 25 degrees. So that that's fine. That's not too cold. He can go out there and play and run around. So I'll try to run run the dog. Is my plan. Um, yeah. So that's it. Wife's a pilot. That's a weird flex. Yes. That's not a weird flex. That's just a fact. Um, yeah, kennel coof. Yeah, my dog didn't get the vaccine. Actually, he did get the vaccine, which is especially frustrating. <clears throat> um, so anyway, that's all. I think that's where we'll end it this week. Uh, Bering is visiting family, uh, and he should be back next week. And uh, maybe Dank will be a uh, dad next week. Who knows? Any any day now, we're going to be canceling because Sue. Is pooping out a baby dank, dank, dank ass, yeah, danklet. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. we'll see you guys uh, next week, and um, yeah, so bye.